Okay, so this is Ride with Mike, and if you like these videos, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. It really would help me out, and I really would be appreciative of every subscriber and like. So, okay, so we're at the property, and uh, we're going to get out now. Uh, today it's raining, and sometimes to be successful, you just have to get out of bed, get up early, and get out in the weather. Uh, it's We're in Michigan currently, and uh, the weather changes from hour to hour here, so... Uh, right now it's raining. We're going to get out and we're going to go walk around the property. The landscape guys just finished on Friday. I had briefly driven by the property and it looked okay, but now I'm going to get out. We're going to actually uh, walk around and uh, take a look at their work uh, in more detail here. Okay, so I'm outside of the property and I'm looking around and I'm definitely seeing a huge difference in what it looks like out here compared to what it was. Uh, right behind me there in the corner, there used to be a tree that was there and uh, they removed that and cut that down. So that was one thing that we got rid of. Um, let's turn around to the back here. So everything was outgrown, overgrown over here um, on the right side there. And so what we did was we had everybody, uh, I had the landscape people uh, just nuke everything out. Normally on these properties, um, I like to um, just start over with the landscape, especially if it was an older house. Um, so anyways, there are, we, we're not even close to being done yet with the outside of this property. We still have to finish the inside, so, but that's what it looks like now compared to what it did before. And once we get going on this property, things like gutters that you see sticking out, all that's going to be buried underground, uh, like that black gutter right there on the right of me. That's going to be um, buried. So, so all of our houses, we want to make them look nice when we're done. Um, you want to try to make things as beautiful as possible for someone to live uh, at one of your properties, especially if you're going to lease it out uh, to a professional or to a family. Um, they want something nice to live in. So. Uh, but as I walk here, um, everything looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to walk towards the back of the garage now and um, take a look at what they did back here. So it's a little muddy, so I'm going to not go back there, but I'm going to turn the camera around here and show you. So that's all cleared out back there. So overall, um, I'm pretty happy with the results of uh, what they did. The driveway, um, it hasn't been power washed as as good as I wanted it to but it is a lot clearer as you can see back here and then uh, we're gonna take one more walk by the boulevard here in the sidewalk and um, this was very important over here as you look down the sidewalk all of that right right over there is all nice and clear now um, where it used to be a lot of weeds and a lot of junk that was uh, over there so Overall, uh, while you're rehabbing a property, um, you want to try to keep the outside cleaned up just like this, really nice and neat. And um, again, that just shows the neighbors and people that live in the area that you care about the house and that you're, um, you know, you're trying to take care of it as much as possible. So, but um, okay, that's about it for now for the short video. And again, thank you. And uh, we'll talk to you again uh, on the next uh, Ride with Mike video. Thank you.